Hi everyone, sorry for the delay on this one. Hopefully it's gonna be worth the wait. Anyway, if you stay to the end, you'll find out about Refuel's special Christmas event. And on that note, happy Christmas to you all. See you in a sec. Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. We're off out and about again today to another Refuel car meet. And this time we've got something a little bit different. It's called What's Under Your Bonnet. See you in a sec. <laughs> There we are, out and about again at the refuel event. You can probably hear the cars starting up over there. It's going to be some awesome motors here today. And also, we've got something a bit different. It's called What's Under Your Bonnet? We'll be doing a mini series of different tires and asking them questions and having a look under their bonnets and seeing what's in there. Um, there's also going to be a really special um, track day today. We're going to get all cars that are not roadworthy out and on the Mansell Race World track, which is over here somewhere. In fact, it's probably over there. And we'll be having a look at that. So let's go and have a look at a few of the cars. So there's a few shots of some of the cars that are here. We'll show you a few more in a bit. Um, there's loads and loads of cars turned up this one. I think it's probably the biggest event that they've had. It's getting bigger each time. Um, but what we're going to do now is have a couple of little mini series and they are What's Under Your Bonnet. Hope you enjoy them. See you in a sec. Right, so I'm here with Rich and we're going to have a look at what's under his bonnet. <laughs> Rich. Well, How are you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. Yourself? Good. Yeah, not bad. Nice well, to see you again. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> becoming a bit of a monthly occurrence, isn't it? it People is, are going to start to talk. Yeah, meeting you at Granada and things like that. Well, that's <laughs> it. So it's uh, basically the standard two-litre four-cylinder that's in the MX-5 Sport. Yeah. Uh, I've changed the manifolds to a decap manifold. It's got a lightweight flywheel in it, an upgraded clutch. We've remapped it. It's got an AEM cold air intake on it, and I've changed all of the coolant hoses for Samco because they were getting a bit, uh, cool. a bit bitty. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much it so far. Want to move the battery, relocate the alternator, and try and tidy up some of the mess that is modern engine bays. That's cool then, Rich. Thanks for letting us know about that. What do you think about refuel then? I think it's been great so far. It's nice to have something down in the southwest that isn't a really long track to get to. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And it's, uh, it's a nice, relaxed sort of place. Lots of nice, uh, varied cars, as I'm sure you've seen in your videos. Yeah, definitely. And it's perfect, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, mate, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week. Definitely. Oh, not next week, actually. <laughs> month, next month, month yeah, yeah, in December. Without a doubt, mate. Yeah. If it's not too cold, it's not snowing. <laughs> Hopefully not. I'll get here, though, in Discovery, oh, won't yeah, I? I won't. <laughs> So right, we've got a little surprise going on now for a 13 year old lad who's been going to all the refuel events. He's gonna get a ride out in a Ferrari. Not just any Ferrari, but this one. I'll be that silver, silver, line into the story. If you thought that I would turn and run, then y'all don't know me. May my fears rest in peace, cause that's a old me Got this taste on my tongue, I crave the glory I, 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 
Gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. Oh, I, as we rise, rise from the flames. Heart of a lion, never say never. Cut like a diamond, shine under pressure. Oh, it's time to fire, hold up. Oh, it's time to fire, hold up. Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow. Just play the game right. No one can follow. Okay, so I'm here today with uh, Paul from Petrolheads Welcome, and he's brought along this uh, this incredible triumph. Um, Paul, tell us a little bit about what you've brought along and why it's so special. Okay, so this is a car called a Triumph TRS. Uh, triumph built f uh, four of these as a team entry for Le Mans in 1960 and 61. Uh, it was the prototype uh, design. Uh, workings for the TR4 um, and sadly uh, f sadly from the TRS point of view they decided it was too expensive to make so they built the 4 for Le Mans uh, and then built the Triumph uh, TR4 as we now know it. Um, this car's a bit more special than that in that uh, this is a recreation. I bought the drawings about 20-25 years ago and we actually set to and made this car from scratch. I was so keen to have a TRS we decided we'd make one. Wow. Um, and how long did that take to, to uh, make this car? It took us about four years to make um, in terms of finding the skills and financing the project. Um, and uh, because of its rarity, it's been able to run at Le Mans uh, multiple times at Goodwood since. Um, so we use it on the road and on the track, although it's a recreation. Wow, and every panel on this is rolled every panel by a human, absolutely. no machinery, every, nothing. Every panel on here is hand-rolled. So these are aluminium panels. They're all hand-rolled, all handmade, and the whole car stitched together. Um, and been done many, many years and has held together extremely well. Um, and the, uh, under the bonnet here is, uh, is a, Triumph, a Triumph engine. So this is a TR, TR2, TR3 engine, traditionally producing about, a, about 90 horsepower, and this one's producing about 180 in, wow. in race spec. So um, in about 900 kilos with, uh, with 180 horsepower makes for an exciting drive. Wow. And do you get to drive this much? Yeah, we use it. We do um, road events with it, so we do historic rallying with it as well as racing. So the, the this area of car enables you to, to really do both. Um, but it's at, it's at home really on the on the sweeping curves and the long straights of uh, of Le Mans, which of course is where it was designed. To, what it was designed to do originally. Paul, thank you very much for coming to Refuel. What's your thoughts on 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 Refuel itself and the community coming together for events like this? I think it's a cracking idea. The more that we can persuade people to use their cars, the better. The eclectic range of cars that you get here from stuff like this to even pre-war cars that are here today to the latest generation of super and hypercar is, uh, covers, covers everybody's bases, I think. It's a cracking idea and uh, this venue particularly is really good for this time of year. A bit of tarmac rather than grass yeah, is absolutely. a benefit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for the feedback. Appreciate it. No problems. Get crazy, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be 
So we got out and about, another successful refuel event this time. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy some of the footage there. Next one's on uh, December the 15th, if you're interested. It was really good to see young Louis getting his um, little treat in the old Ferrari. And I actually got to sit in James Hunt's car, which has been a lifelong ambition of mine. So it's been a really cool day. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one and see you next time. And don't forget, if you're at the next one and you want to do what's under my bonnet, we'll see if we can do it. Cheers and gone. Right, so as promised, Refuel's next event, 15th of December at Mansell's Raceworld, and they have got a special Christmas event going on. So if you turn up in fancy dress for Christmas, or better still, dress your car up, there'd be some prizes given out. And you never know, you might be in what's under your bonnet. See you there. It's a good day.